So if I'm trying to organize things a certain way or I want to insert um, images in a certain specific spot and it doesn't let me put them where I want or maybe I just want to go ahead and just insert a table into my chart um, I can do that in any page that has the content editor and when I click on table uh, I can go to table and I can choose exactly how many rows or columns I want so maybe I want something like that and then I click and then it creates that table for me and then down here at the bottom I have buttons that I can either delete that table I can add rows above below columns above or below or delete them and the way this works is if I simply click and drag inside of a cell to highlight a row, um, then I can tell it to, hey, let's insert a row before, insert a row after, delete, and so on. Um, but I also have a button here for table properties. Now this button will actually apply properties to the entire table. Um, and so one of those options is there's the ability to set your border to zero. And if I set my border to zero and hit OK, then what happens is the uh, table cells or the borders that separate the table cells actually become invisible. So even though there's a table here that I see, once I save this page, all the lines go away so I can use it just to organize things and lay things out. So if I want my graphics over here, I can do that. Now another thing I might want to do is I might want to merge some cells together. So maybe I want to put a graphic right here and so I want to merge all of these cells together. I can click and drag to highlight a set of cells and then if I go over here to my table button there's an option under cell that I can tell it to merge cells and it will join those together. So I can kind of create my own custom shapes here. Uh, again, click cell, merge cells to be able to do that. Now the other thing I can do is if I click and drag to highlight some cells, if I click on the table and I go to uh, cell, cell properties, this gives me some settings and things I can do just to a specific cell. So for example, um, I can choose whether or not to have a header cell if I want, so I can actually add a header cell across the top of my table. I could also control the H align as horizontal align, so left to right um, on how everything is going to be aligned in that box, and then V align is vertical align. So if I want everything to be at the very top of that box or in the center of that box vertically up and down, I can control that as well. But under advanced here, it gives me the ability to even change the border. There's some different options. <coughs> Excuse me, I can do dotted lines, stuff like that. And I can also choose border colors or background colors. Now this is a little tricky because this is actually an HTML thing. So if I opened up a new tab um, just in my browser and I search, it's called hex codes uh, for the web. There is a uh, a bunch of websites that'll have the same thing and when I click on one um, this is a whole bunch of different code or colors and each one has its own code behind it that's what it's looking for in that box in fact if I go back to this first one here um, this actually allows me to click and choose and say yep I want this color or I can choose lighter darker and say yeah, I want it to be this color right here and then this right here is the hex code so I'm gonna highlight that whole thing including the number sign and just do a command C to copy and then if I go back into my canvas course and if I want that to be the background color I simply paste it in there and hit OK and it will make that the background color of that table and then so again I can still type text into it if I wanted to I could highlight that text uh, and I can change the font size this is the text color so maybe I want to make that color white uh, since it's uh, on top of green background. If I wanted to center it, I could still do that. And so you get a lot of different options on how you uh, manipulate and adjust things. And then when you're done, when I hit save, again, my lines are invisible, everything goes away, and all you will see uh, in that box is my um, So when I'm finished and I go ahead and hit save, you're not going to see any of my lines anymore. You're only going to see uh, anything that I typed or any colors and stuff that I added. So that's a way you can use tables to, uh, to make it line up and align things the way you want and uh, to create some cool colors and different effects.